How's it going everyone? My name is Mr. Boss for the win and welcome to another episode of some Black Ops 2. In this episode today, I'm actually going to be talking about how the best way to get gold and or diamond for the Cap 40. Now the Cap 40 is one of the easier weapons to get into the game, but I still figured since it's one of those odd pistols that uh, I would do a video on it because I like doing the odd weapons. So here's the class, obviously as you can see, I'm using the Cap 40 with a long barrel and extended magazine. I'm also using a concussion grenade, extreme conditioning scavenger, lightweight and ghost. Now, a lot of these are important, and uh, the pistols are kind of the same. The classes look the same. Some of the attachments may vary, but uh, it's all to your preference. You can edit these and adjust them to the game style that you like. So, as for all the pistols, you are kind of limited on your range, but what's unique about the Cap 40 is it is the only fully automatic uh, pistol. So, it makes it kind of like a little submachine gun, and it's got a very fast reload. You can see I get very lucky right here being able to pick off that guy. Uh, it's got a very fast reload, but it's also got a very small clip. Um, typically, without the extended mags, you would only get 15 rounds, but instead you can get 20 rounds, which is actually very important because it, it can easily be get, become like a uh, three or four shot kill at a really close range. So uh, you can see I'm dropping people very quickly. There's a headshot right there. And uh, yeah, I had a lot of success with this weapon, mainly because you have to use it like a submachine gun with very little range, and that is what I tried to do. I'm sticking to the real close quarters of the map, and I think that's what really helped me do, um, you know, do well with this gun. So. Uh, I guess I could talk a little bit more about the attachments. Long barrel is, uh, again, just to uh, ensure that I get a little bit more damage at range because it has such a short range and it drops off so quickly that uh, a lot of the times you might find yourself having to put more bullets on target, basically, than you might want to. Now, as far as the concussion grenades, I've talked about this many times before. The concussion grenades will allow you to get closer to people. Uh, by simply slowing them down and uh, not allowing them to turn quickly, not allowing them to aim down their sights and move as fast and having them to, like to go prone and stuff like that. Uh, nice little quad or triple feed or something like that with an orbital V-set. And uh, that is really what, um, that's really what your objective is. Now, as far as my perks go, uh, obviously Extreme Conditioning and Scavenger are meant to get me to places faster. And Scavenger obviously is meant to uh, allow me to uh, scavenge things off the ground. So like ammo, you can see that right now I only have 20 of 29 bullets. And that's already down to like 12 left in my clip. That's because this thing runs out of ammo very quickly, so scavenger packs are very key. But it's also for my uh, stun grenades, you know, I use the stun grenades a lot. You can see in like all these videos and all these clips that I'm showing you right now, that the, uh, the stun grenade is something that uh, gets me a lot of kills and gets me a lot of kills very quickly. Because, like I said, it, it slows them down and um, if you can slow them down, it makes it a lot easier to uh, be successful and do better using the Cap 40. Now, my last two perks, uh, I forgot to mention, I'm using the uh, secondary wild card, um, the secondary attachments that allows you to have two of them, and I'm also using perk one greed. So, uh, in this gameplay right here, which is on Vertigo, you can actually see me using the laser sight instead of the long, or the laser sight instead of the extended magazines, just to see how I could do uh, with 15 rounds, and it actually turned out that it wasn't that bad. So, um... Uh, you can either swap it, swap, swap it out for uh, whatever you really want. It doesn't matter. Like I said, it's all up to your preference. And um, I forgot to talk about my first perk. So my first perks were Lightweight and Ghost. Obviously, staying off the radar is very important when you want to get the jump on people like I tried to do right there. And uh, by using Lightweight, you're going to get to objective points faster. Now, that's also something I recommend. If you're going to be using this gun, I would stick around objectives because typically objectives are in uh, high traffic areas and they're also in tight corridor areas, especially the B flag or uh, one of the demolition bombs. You're rarely going to find a B flag or a demolition bomb that doesn't have like little curves and corners that you can kind of uh, pick people off from. So uh, it, it, it's very effective in that way but I, by allowing you to uh, kind of deceive people, especially like this. You can see all the little nooks and crannies right here that I'm able to just like navigate through and uh, get a lot of bloodthirsties, a lot of double kills, a few headshots. The headshots are definitely the toughest but like I've said in previous videos, uh, it's not it's not for me to tell you how to get better headshots. I can tell you how to do the things like bloodthirsties, double kills, um, you know, everything like that. So 
basically, if you follow these tips, and you can see I'm using very low kill streaks here because uh, my life expectancy for this class is not high. I mean, oh, I almost die here. Um, you know, I'm trying to run around, play the objective, get my bloodthirsty, a double kill, etc. And if I die, I die. It's no big deal. I'm using very low streaks, but streaks that are also helpful for the objective. So my streaks are encouraging me to stay towards the objective, and my streaks are helping me with my bloodthirsty medals and stuff like that. Because uh, more, the more I help my teammates, the more I'm able to uh, allow them to get like UAVs and orbital VSATs, which again will help me. Uh, another thing I recommend is playing in a full party. I wouldn't try doing this on your own. That could be a very bad idea because you might be the only one uh, that's helping you out. And you might not have any other guys that are willing to help out with you. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you would, leave a like on the video. And be sure to check out all my other videos that I do. So other than that, guys, have a nice day. Of course, I will talk to you guys in the next video.